It's the last room, sir. It's almost over 400 hours. The latrine. Sir? Sir, the latrine. Yes, sir. Understand it either. He was looking right at it. Maybe it's not there. Of course it's there, dummy. I put it there myself. Maybe somebody else took it. You gonna turn us in, Lieutenant? No. But I do want you to do me a favor. I want to know all there is to know about the cider. Who, where, and when. Yes? Captain Loomis, sir. Forgive the hour, sir, but it's urgent. Meet me in the flagpole area of the parade ground immediately. It's about the cider, sir. Cider? Yes, sir. It's about the cider. I think I've got it. All right. Is that it, sir? That's it. Whoever's in that room, have them fall out and form here. Go to it. Yes, sir. I got double! Yes, sir! Have the whole second floor fall out! Yes, sir! You hear me, Captain? Yes, sir! The whole second floor! Yes, sir! You hear me? Hey, mister! Don't touch that! Don't move! Till Captain Lomas arrives. Anyone else in there with you? No, sir! You better be right! What is it, Colonel? What's happened? The cider, Lieutenant! The elusive cider has finally materialized! I knew it would! Where'd you find it? There, up there! Where are you pointing, sir? Where are you pointing? Second floor, fourth window alarm. Holy cow, you're right. There it is. I gotta say this for you, sir. You never gave up on it, did you? You got a pretty good pair of eyes. That's my job to be observant. So that's how you know about it. You saw it before. Yes, of course. When was that, sir? Gentlemen, I'm waiting. I said, when was it that you first spotted the cider, sir? During last week. Wednesday or Thursday? I suppose so. That's strange that you didn't start your investigation the moment you saw it. That seems to be the way you do things. Right away, no delays. Gentlemen, you're slow. You're very slow. Was it during the day or night, sir? Mm, what? I said, can you remember if it was during the day or the night? Day, of course. All right, Captain, who was it? Morgan, sir. Morgan, step forward. All cadets, remain where you are. Lieutenant. What the hell's going on here? 
That was a lie, Colonel. It couldn't have been during the day. Whoever was involved in the manufacture of liquor, please raise your hands and say me, sir. Me, me sir. sir. Was the liquor ever hung out during the day? No, no sir. sir. Captain Loomis? <laughs> Colonel, it couldn't have been during the day. It must have been night. Logic, Lieutenant. Logic. Wednesday night, Thursday night. During the week. No, sir, it was Saturday night. The night before the explosion that Mr. Haynes was killed. I wasn't out Saturday night. Was the cider ever hung out Wednesday or Thursday evenings? No, no sir. Friday nights? No, sir. When was the first time that the cider was hung out? Saturday night, sir. Then I'm mistaken. It must have been Saturday night. Could you be more specific? Was it closer to 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock, or was it later? Maybe daybreak, early Sunday morning, like 6.30. It was impossible to be daybreak, because as you know, Lieutenant, I was in my quarters, asleep, until 6.30, when my boodle boy awakened me. So either you saw it after 6.30 when you got up, or you saw it earlier, before you went to bed. One or the other, obviously. Who's responsible for bringing in the cider early Sunday morning? Right here, sir. What time was that? 6.25, sir. How do you know it was 6.25? I had to bring it in before Reveille, otherwise everybody would see it, sir. So you couldn't have seen it after you got up because it was no longer there. And you didn't see it earlier because it was too dark. I'll tell you when you saw it. Between 6.15 and 6.25. During those 10 minutes. Not a minute earlier, nor a minute later. Before 6.15, it was too dark. Daybreak came at 6.15, and the cider jar became visible. And it was visible until 6.25 when it was pulled in the window. And not only did you see it at that specific time, Colonel, but you had to be standing in one specific place. That's right, sir. You see, you can't see the window from here. The trees cover it. That's the only place that you can see the window. You have to be standing directly in back of the cannon. Should I go on? Done a very nice job. You know, I, I very much wanted to identify that rag uh, immediately. I couldn't get it out. Don't you expect me to be contrite, Lieutenant? It had to be done, and I'd do it again tomorrow. Have you finished with my cadets? Yes, sir. Give me a moment. Gentlemen, I hear Reveille. That means that you'll have precisely 24 minutes in which to report to the mess hall for breakfast, correctly attired, shoes shined, buttons polished. Any questions? No, no sir. sir! Immediately following breakfast, those responsible for bringing cider on this campus will report to Captain Loomis for disciplinary action. Captain, dismissed. Fall out! Just one more thing.